Hey friends, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a Valentine's Day makeup pink cut crease look today. And if you guys wanna learn some really good tips and tricks and do some perfect makeup like all these Instagrammers do, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off by taking the shade Tempton with the JH35 brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection. And the palette that I'm using is the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette. This shade is supposed to be my transition shade. It's going to help me blend all the other colors together. So pay close attention and apply this onto your crease and just buff it out all around until you have no product in your brush. And this is going to help us so much in the next step, okay guys? So don't click out of this video. The second shade I'm going to be using is called Unstoppable. And for this one, I'm using the JH40 brush. It's a smaller pencil brush, so it helps us really get in depth onto our crease. So we're going to go ahead and tap off all the excess makeup and apply this onto our crease. Here's the first tip that I'm going to give you guys in this video. When you're applying eyeshadow onto your crease, I recommend, I really recommend that you start applying it in tapping motions like you're packing it on there until you get it as dark as you wish. And then after that, you can start blending side to side. And this is important because this helps you so you don't get a lot of fallout and also so that you keep this eyeshadow color exactly where you want it. Now I'm going to be taking back that first brush that I used and it's the JH35 and I did not grab any eyeshadow. I'm just simply going to be using this to blend out the shade Unstoppable and I'm just going to be doing this in side to side motions and let me tell you guys why. This is the next tip. If you're blending out a shade like this, a bright shade, you want to go side to side so that the color doesn't go all over the place. It keeps it neatly into place and that's important because that's what makes it look so perfect. Now I'm taking the JH40 brush again with some of the shade Unstoppable and I'm going to reapply this onto my crease. So this is important. That way we build up the intensity of the shade, you guys. That is very important and it's pretty repetitive. So like you see right here, I just grabbed the other brush again, the JH35, and I'm doing the exact same steps. I'm blending side to side so that it can get smokier every time. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are actually learning something. By the amount of thumbs up, I'm going to assume those are the amount of friends that are actually learning something off of my videos. The next step is the easiest. I'm just going to take a clean brush. This is the JH33 and we're going to be cleaning out the top area of our eyeshadow. So where our brow bone is at, we're just going to be blending in side to side motions or in little circles just so that it looks smoky and there's no harsh lines. The next shade I'm using is called Warning Label and I'm using the M506 brush and this is also a pencil brush but it's smaller than the previous one. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and apply this onto our crease as well, but we're not going to cover up that hot pink color, okay? We're just going to apply this just a little bit below the other shade. Do side to side motions so that you don't get out of line when you're applying this shade because this is bright, so if you go a little too high, you're just going to mess up the whole look. And next, I'm going back in with a clean brush to make sure that I didn't leave any harsh lines anywhere. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, you should go and subscribe now for more tutorials. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos. So yeah, guys, if you guys like how I explain everything, please subscribe to my channel now. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D foundation for my cut crease because I like this better than concealer. It's way thicker. The texture of it is just perfect. So I'm going to be applying this with a random flat brush. And you guys, here's a trick that nobody ever tells you and they don't show you on those little mini tutorials that they show on Instagram or anywhere else. When you're done cutting your crease and applying the concealer, primer, or whatever you use, what you do is you tap off any extra product left. So with your finger, you go in there and you take off any extra concealer or whatever you use so that when you apply your eyeshadow, it applies evenly and it applies perfectly because if not, it gets cakey and weird and your cut crease does not look good and perfect like everybody else's does on Instagram. The next product I'm using is my Believe Beauty Concealer. This is only $4 at any Dollar General store, you guys. It's very inexpensive. And I'm using my concealer just to clean out the outer area of my eye. If you guys want to achieve a sharp look like this, I recommend using concealer if you don't want to go in with some tape like most people do. Concealer works as well. 
Then to set that concealer, I'm gonna be using my beauty sponge and this one is from InStylish. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these items, I'm gonna have them down below so you guys know more information. Here's the next trick, so pay attention. I'm going in with a translucent powder. This one's from Urban Decay, but you guys can use any. And I'm gonna be using a tiny brush. This brush is called Sephora 15. And I'm gonna be applying this onto the concealer just to set it before I apply any eyeshadow on top of it and it doesn't get cakey. This is what makes this look perfect, you guys, so pay close attention. Now I'm taking a different palette. This is the 25L Live in Color palette by Morphe. And I'm taking the shade called Heart. And I'm going to be packing this shade on top of the translucent powder. That way it applies evenly and it looks really smooth. Use tapping motions. Don't do any dragging motions with your brush, you guys. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Warning Label. And I'm going in with the JH43. I'm using the 3503 palette by Morphe again, and I'm gonna be applying this color tightly onto my lash line. I always like to use a flat, small brush for this area because I don't like to have a lot of fallout, and I feel like it's a lot harder to make any mistakes when you're really going into detail with a tiny brush. Now I'm gonna be blending this shade out, and I'm gonna be using the shade Unstoppable with the JH40 brush. And I'm only grabbing a small amount of product, you guys, just enough to blend these two shades together so that it looks smoky, just like at the top. Now I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Those of you that are subscribed know that I love to use this mascara. And I'm only going to apply a couple of coats because I'm going to apply some false lashes on top of this. So just make sure you only apply two or three coats on the top and also on the bottom because our bottom lashes are important. If you guys want your eyes to really stand out, also apply some mascara on your bottom lashes. Now I'm taking the NYX Professional Makeup Eyeliner and this is a white color. So I'm going to be applying this onto my waterline. You guys can use black if you want because I know not a lot of people like the white one. Regardless, I think both colors will look good. And another tip is if you don't want to mess up your foundation when you're doing this, use a little spongy to pull your skin down so you don't mess up any foundation or concealer. Now I'm going in with this gel liner from Maybelline and if there's any drugstore eyeliner that I recommend it's this one It's very dark and creamy and it doesn't really dry up I'm taking a tiny angled brush so that I can apply this onto my top lash line And I'm only gonna be applying a small amount you guys I only want to use this so that my eyelashes can just sit on top of it and it helps my real ones blend in with the false ones now I'm gonna be taking my lashes in the style sapphire these are from KJ Lashes. If you guys are interested in purchasing these, they are very affordable. They're only $7. I have the information down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. And I'm going to go ahead and apply these carefully. If you're interested in knowing what glue I'm using, I'm using the Duo Glue. These are only like $5. I usually purchase this on Amazon and I get two for $10. But if you guys just want one, it's about $5 and a couple of cents. Now, before I forget, because I didn't apply this and it's important, I'm using the shade Liberation with the brush M213 by Morphe. And this shade, you guys, I had some trouble grabbing it with the brush, as you guys can see on the video. And I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to spray it a little bit so that it intensifies the shimmery shade. And I'm going to be applying this onto my inner corner. And I think this is important because this actually makes the look just all come together. So yeah, guys, this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on doing your makeup. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.